Greetings class, thank you for joining me today as we discuss the problem of human scale as it relates to its impact on politics and government operations. Um, and so throughout history we've seen several conceptions on the proper size or, or scale of government in relation to the size of the population or the size of the controlled territory. Uh, however, uh, in a lecture, uh, Dr. Don, Donald Livingston uh, gives, he, he mentions two primary conceptions uh, of proper political order. One of those is from uh, the ancient world through Aristotle who argues for uh, small government. And this small government is really the early republicanism in that it is supposed to be very indicative and representative of the people and, and the will of the people um, and, and their desires. And therefore, it, it is kind of naturally forming, um, and, and, it, and it should therefore stay very small. Um, the second major notion is through uh, the Age of Enlightenment, through Thomas Hobbes, who argued uh, for a larger scale government, and one that is artificially constructed out of necessity, uh, that, that a larger government would be needed because as the uh, amount of people or territory, uh, and population as well is larger, then therefore you would need a larger government to quell uh, the natural occurring uh, anarchy that would, would arise as a result of that. And so therefore he argues more for this kind of um, position of office, this the, the modern state, if you will, that uh, this office that holds central power, uh, and then therefore everyone else, the population, um, kind of acts underneath that according to their will, but with in the rules of that supreme uh, central authority. Now, Dr. Livingston also mentions uh, various political movements uh, that broke out as a result of people who were dissatisfied with government when perhaps government remained too small and population or territory was too big, or maybe government tried to have too much power or was not very indicative of the people. And so it led to various political uh, movements and revolutionary movements uh, throughout history. Um, and so there's been multiple conceptions of what is the proper scale of government uh, since then. We, we see things such as um, the French Revolution where you have this kind of new republicanism that is supposed to represent republicanism as it was for small government, but it's a much larger government and has a more of a uh, Hobbesian type of view um, or setup. And then you also have other things um, such as uh, the co rise of commonwealth principles, this idea of everything going for the, the general good of the population. But then you have issues as people will disagree on what is best for the population and will not necessarily see eye to eye on that. Um, you also have things like Johannes Althusius, which offers kind of this more uh, constitutionalism uh, early form of it, which is still quite a small government, even though it's bigger than Aristotle's view. Uh, and, and then in the more modern period, you have kind of this idea of the constitutional state. And for us in America today, we, we kind of see this kind of early beginnings that looked more like republicanism when the colonies first began. And, and today you see this massive, large-scale government that is almost borderline on the Hobbes view but yet we still see some of these other principles that have been discussed throughout history as well. And so it, today we look at America and maybe we have questions of, well, does our government best represent the will of the people anymore? Um, you know, is it trending more towards a, a authoritarian type feel um, or the, in the Hobbesian sense? Uh, is there a way to implement more old republicanism with a much larger size population? Um, is that doable? In, in what ways could that be done? And so it definitely begs some questions for us today, as it has throughout history, as we try to deal uh, with the proper scale of government in relation to the size of the territory and population in an ever-changing world. Thank you.